I would guess the biggest thing for a sport being affordable is probably the equipment. So if you noticed, um, like soccer is worldwide because all you really need is a soccer ball. So whether it's a third world country or an inner city or a very wealthy area, soccer is usually played. I think all the coaches are aware and we just try, whether we have old equipment lying around that we can use, maybe some, a student athlete left stuff. A lot of times, even with my teams, the girls will share stuff. You know, you always have one kid on a team that seems to have, uh, what would I say, access to like three sticks, you know, and, and they're more than willing to share that. So that, I guess right there is that education in the heart that you have a kid on your team that's willing to give that up. I play field hockey and I know that the equipment can be really expensive for some people. So I've um, actually lent out a lot of like my old sticks and stuff to friends who needed them. And what we try to do is point them in the right direction. Because of being here for 20 years, I have access to, um, you know, different networks out there that can assist these students. So, uh, you know, the majority of my kids come in with their own sticks and equipment. You know, the, you know, we, we supply certain things. Well, that it is you know, something that certainly pops up um, among players and, and things like that. But I think with, you know, being in college baseball for the last 14 years, you're usually dealing with players that have access to their own equipment because they've made a commitment to that sport and they may go without in other, in other parts of their life so they can't afford that equipment. But usually you know, at the college level, most, uh, you know, most collegiate athletes have what's necessary for them to, to compete at some, some way, shape, or form. I certainly think it does. You know, Cabrini being a D3 sports, sports level to college, um, it's certainly hard for them to allocate finances to all the teams equally. So I think the way they go about it certainly does emphasis on their social justice. It uh, shows the kind of care uh, that they show towards their student athletes. And in that respect, I think they are a big help, not to just the teams, but to individually the athletes as well. I think it depends on the institution. Certainly at the Division One level, um, in a, lo a lot of cases, a lot of costs are covered by the program or the athletic department. As you work down, you know, budgets get a little bit tighter. Um, there are sports where, you know, at the Division Three level, student athletes have to cover a lot of their own expenses, which is unfair. But it's, you know, it's just, uh, you know, one of the one of the evils that uh, that creeps up when budgets get tight. But um, I think it kind of depends on the the economic situation of the athletic department, the school that they're in, um, all that. But certainly at the Division One level, especially at the high level conferences and and programs. Players definitely get taken care of very well. Uh, depending on you know the equipment, um, you know that can always be financially a struggle at times. I know my glove was like five hundred dollars. Um, that will probably be the last glove I ever get. Um, but no, I, th I think depending on equipment, hitters, you know some guys will spend you know roughly like three hundred, four hundred dollars on a bat, um, and then cleats can be a hundred bucks, glove hundred, two hundred, so you know roughly close to I don't know eleven, twelve hundred dollars. But, um, you know, that's just as the individual. Yeah. The experiences in sports mirror what uh, goes on in life, you know, whether it's dealing with setbacks or success. And, uh, you know, I think that is the beauty of sports is, you know, the diverse group of people that you're working with, um, the highs and lows of it, and how to, you know, break through hurdles or, you know, jump over hurdles and still be able to make a mistake and get back up. So I think that is, you know, Cabrini's mission and it goes on everywhere. And I think, yes, all the coaches at Cabrini know that's something that we are always instilling in our athletes.